It's 5.36 a.m. in the morning. Guys, I just found the best idea to make a little tiny show. <laughs> so check this out. What if, what if I was just talking right here with this background? Like, bruh, that's pretty sick if you ask me. Wow, imagine that. You know what? I'm clearing out my crap right here so I could stand right here. <laughs> oh shoot, it's gonna be dope. <laughs> This is my friend, Mr. Elias. He asked me if I can help him make a roof in the back of a house, so I'm gonna help him out. All right, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram, and I got the best questions ever. Let's just get right into it. My friend Abraham asked me, what's the nastiest thing you've ate? I can't think of anything nasty I've ate, but I don't like white rice. Um, never been a fan of it. I'm used to the Mexican rice where it has the tomato sauce in it. I just can't do white rice. Uh, next question says, Christian asked, bro, you should watch the minorities. They funny and you should do some some like that. Bro, I watched their YouTube channel and bro, they're freaking crazy. A lot of a lot of very attractive women on that show. It's a, I like I like that YouTube show. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your Instagram name, but MXRA kid says, "Would you skate with a group with a group of viewers?" Yes, sometimes when you're skating at a spot, people they'll uh, come up and just watch you. So like yeah, I would, but I wouldn't uh, ask for it. But if people are watching, I don't mind. Unless I'm doing like a crazy trick and everybody is watching me, that would kind of scare me. Next question. <laughs> my friend Hope, my best friend Hope asked, what's under your bed? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, probably a bunch of big red cans. Love you, Hope. Okay, so my cousin's girlfriend she asked me a bunch of good questions. Thank you so much for giving me questions like this. Okay, her first question was, are you looking for a relationship slash wanting to be in one? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do want to be in a relationship. I'm not looking, looking. I'm just like, whatever happens, happens. I'm not like, I need a girlfriend. She asked, how long does it typically take you to sell something? If I get a really good product, usually the same day, uh, Another question she asked, do you see yourself reselling in the future? Hell yeah, I'm be reselling for the rest of my life. It's what I like to do. It's very fun. Um, I get a rush. I get a rush from selling a lot of furniture. That might not be what I'm doing in the future, but I still will always go to it. Another question, how do you feel selling your first item and what was the item? There, that was a good ass question. <laughs> My first item was, it was a skateboard. I have a lot of knowledge in skateboarding and I know what could sell and what doesn't. So skateboards was my first thing I was selling on OfferUp, but my first hustle was selling candy. Oh, I would get a Skittle variety pack. It would be like 40 pieces of candy. So that would be a dollar each. So I would buy it for 20 and then make a uh, $20 profit. What three things would you take with you on a deserted island? I would take somebody that knew everything about islands and we would build a dope ass home. And um, and I would take my blanket cause I really like my blanket. Another question. If you win the lottery of a hundred million, what are you doing with it? If I won a hundred million, I would take a vacation, pay off all my debt. I'm set for the rest of my life. I wouldn't have to do anything. I'm gonna kind of rephrase the question a little bit. What if I had $1 million? What would I do with $1 million? Okay, I would, currently what I would do right now, I would pay off my debt, get buy my own house, buy a trailer for my truck, probably buy a new truck, invest it, hire somebody that knows about stocks so they can make me money. Next question. What are your thoughts about your life slash future? So at the beginning of 2020, my life has changed so so much. My ex-girlfriend dumped me and it changed my life completely, like in a very good way. Like, ah, oh, I can't even, I can't even put into words how I'm doing things that I actually like. I'm doing the things that I actually want to do in life. 
the thoughts about future. I hope the future turns out really good. <laughs> I really hope I really hope so. <clears throat> I, she asked another question. That night time video where it was driving and it was sped up looks like a really good uh, good intro. She was talking about this time lapse. I'll show you right here. This time lapse, it was a really cool time lapse of me driving in my car. And she's suggesting that I use, somehow use that for an intro video. I really think it's a good idea. Those were all my cousin's uh, girlfriend's questions. Thank you, Alyssa. That was awesome. <laughs> I got a question from Sid the Seventh. What made you want to start YouTube? What made me want to start YouTube was uh, I definitely got inspired by Adam LZ, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Casey Neistat, John Hill, The Nook Boys, oh, Danny Duncan, Jason Nash, of course, David Dobrik, uh, Eric, Jeff, Mike Malak, George, Joe Tichikawa, Gary V. This list goes on and on and on. I've gotten, I watch a lot of YouTube. I'm very, very inspired by YouTube. I got a question from PBD. Honest thoughts on me, bro. By the way, you are, you're the man. Okay, let me look at your Instagram. I kind of don't recognize your Instagram. I remember you. Bro, you're cool, man. Keep up, keep keep posting. Keep posting on your Instagram, dude. Do what you love and don't do it for nobody else. But yourself, son. I hope I didn't bore y'all with these uh, uh, answers. Guys, if we can get 100 subscribers for tw before 2021, that would be dope as hell. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>